Okay, now uh, let's continue with uh, the analogy just now. Okay, uh, so this uh, this one you understand already. High work function uh, means we'll end up with low stopping potential uh, to stop the electron. But what if a uh, very low work function? Uh, what if we left with very low work function? So um, just explain again. So this person has energy of hundred joule. Okay, now the metal, okay, uh, the wall is the metal surface. Huh? It's the metal, uh, it's the metal surface or, or can say the cathode. Uh, yeah, it represents the cathode. Now the cathode, I use uh, a very low binding energy cathode. Yeah, uh, now the, 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 the metal or the cathode, I use very low binding energy. Uh, very low binding energy, so... Uh, so you just use up your maybe just use 30 joule uh, 30 joule of energy just use up so uh, can the person escape happily can the person escape happily yes he's very energetic uh, after he climbed over the fence just a wooden fence uh, this person is very energetic with high kmx uh, high kinetic energy uh, he has high kinetic energy left over because uh, after 100 minus okay after the 100 minus 30 you still have you still have uh, how much energy your uh, energetic uh, maybe I uh, uh, just put below here okay and just put below here here yeah sorry for waiting uh, so it has still have very high k max uh, so very energetic very energetic you, just, you still have uh, 70 joule of energy wow so uh, the person is very energetic how to draw an energetic face uh, because the person can escape that's why he's happy uh, yeah because he, he, he escaped uh, that's why he's very happy so very energetic uh, so uh, 70 joule so is it easy to catch the person ah uh, is it easy to catch a person uh, use more effort uh, more effort more effort to catch more effort to catch means you need a higher stopping potential uh, you need a higher stopping potential to catch a person uh, because you has high kinetic energy high kinetic energy not easy to catch the person can still run after minus the 30 joule the person still have 70 joule of energy to run so you need more effort to catch the person. So you need a higher stopping potential to catch the person. Uh, so need a higher stopping potential. Okay. Low, what I can say is lower function, higher stopping potential, higher work function, lower stopping potential. Uh, okay. Uh, just drag a little bit down here and because I need to do the next thing. Alright. Okay. So this is a very good analogy. Uh, now I want to, uh, yeah, about this one. Different metal has different work function, W0, uh, threshold frequency, and threshold wavelength. Okay, so it's only uh, for any metal, only met any metal, they have their own value, own value of work function, own value of work threshold frequency, and also threshold wavelength. Because why? Because the, the formula, the formula is um, work function equal to HF0 or also equal to HC over lambda naught. Uh, so the the met different metal has different W naught, different F naught, different lambda uh, lambda naught. Okay, they have their own value. So not all light, not all light can eject electron. It depends on the diff the metal type. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe this light can eject electron from this metal, but cannot eject electron from that metal because they all different metal has different threshold frequency or threshold wavelength okay so um let's look at this this graph okay uh i want to talk about this one okay uh, you see this is the equation we can rearrange the formula kmx put in the front so uh and then uh, w not go over so it become kmx equal to uh energy of photon minus the work function uh, so if you have a low work function means you have high leftover energy as your kinetic energy uh, when you have high kinetic energy uh, kmax equal to evs okay uh, which is the vs 
So high kinetic energy is harder to stop the electron. Harder to stop electron, you require high stopping potential. So low work function, low work function will end up have high stopping potential. Okay, high stopping potential. So look at this one. Which one do you think uh, is bigger? Uh, which work function? This one doesn't show the value of work function, but you can guess which one has higher work function or higher binding energy. Is it W01 or W02? Which one work function is higher or higher binding energy? Uh, so you just compare their stopping potential. You see the stopping potential? Uh, which one has uh, higher stopping potential? Uh, this one, uh, those, uh, VS1, VS2, uh, VS1 is bigger than VS2. Don't, don't think about the negative sign. Uh, just think about the value. Uh, VS2, uh, VS1 is bigger than VS2. Uh, VS, VS1 is bigger. Okay. VS1 is bigger. So we can say, we, what we can say is, VS1 has high stopping potential. What, what, what can we understand about high stopping potential? What can we understand about high stopping potential? High stopping potential means uh, use a lot of effort to stop this electron, isn't it? You very hard. High stopping potential, it requires high stopping potential means what? High stopping potential means hard to stop. Hard to stop the electron. Hard to stop the electron. Uh, why this electron very hard to stop? Why it requires high stopping potential? Why well, you require high stopping potential to stop this electron? Because very, why is it hard to stop this electron? Because it has high kinetic energy. Uh, we reason like this. We reason like this. Because it has high, because it has high kinetic energy, that's why it's very hard to stop. Very hard to stop. What makes it? What makes it has high kinetic energy? Why make what makes it has high kinetic energy? Ah, because you use a lower fence. You use a small fence. Of course, the person will left over with high kinetic energy. You use a low fence. Easy to escape. Uh, if the person, if the thief, uh, after ejecting, after ejecting has high kinetic energy, means the metal has low work function. Ah, uh, means it has W01 is very low work function. Understand or not? Uh, very low work function. Very low work function, low binding energy. Uh, because the 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 no the electron ejected very energetic lah. Uh, very energetic. That means uh you the low means low binding energy. Low binding energy. Uh, low binding energy. So easy to escape. Uh, easy uh, low binding energy. So you left with, with a lot of energy, so very hard to stop. Uh, okay, low binding energy. So that means we can say W01 is very low, uh, lower than W02. Uh, that's, that's, that's how we look at yeah? W02 is bigger than W01. W02 bigger than W01. Is it correct? Yes. W02 bigger than W01. Uh, because uh, because uh, VS, uh, VS1 has very high stopping potential. That means very energetic, very energetic. Why? Because it has, uh, it just escaped from a very low binding energy. Uh, whereas this uh, VS2 is uh, very, very low stopping potential. Need uh, require a very small stopping potential because the electron ejected is uh, very low kinetic energy because it just overcome a very high work function binding energy uh, like this person. Uh, okay, like this person. Uh, uh, we can say we can we can compare like this. Uh, this the first person is the this the first person is the um W not two. Ah, uh, the second person is W not one. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, this is W not one. Lower function, high kinetic energy. Lower function, high kinetic energy. Ah, uh, this one, high work function. Okay. This one high work function, uh, this one low work function, okay? Uh, this one high work function, uh, low kinetic energy, low stopping potential, uh, okay? Uh, that's it, okay? They, uh, they, uh, this one, one decrease, another one must increase. 
if this one increase, this one decrease. Uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, remember, ah, uh, remember, ah, uh, uh, like that. Uh. this one bigger but is smaller. Uh, that, uh. So, uh, look at this one. Ah, uh, uh, this is the graph. Uh, since different metal, they have, they will have uh, uh, about the Vs uh, against F graph. This one is uh, the graph we talked just now. Uh, we talked about this graph just now about this graph. Vs against F. Okay, Vs against F. So the the intercept at uh, F, the x axis is F naught. The intercept at y axis is negative W naught over E. So uh, you have uh, if you use different type of metal, uh, you will get different graph lah. You will get you will have F naught one. You will have another graph. Yeah, and then you have another graph like that. Ah, this this one will be F naught two. This one will be F naught three. And this one, this one is W not one. This one is negative W not two over E. And this is negative W not three over E. Okay, this is different type of metal. Uh, so we can say um, the higher binding, uh, the the one higher binding energy is the W not three. Uh, so still we don't look at the negative sign. Uh, we don't look at the negative sign. We just look at the the value, the value of it. Uh, this one, the the bottom one has high uh, binding energy uh, yeah this one the top one has low binding energy uh, okay this one that's why this one uh, has a high threshold frequency uh, high threshold frequency threshold frequency is the minimum frequency required uh, you have w not 3 uh, if the w not 3 if you uh, look at this value if W not three is equal to uh, H F not three, yeah. Uh, so if you have a high work function, high work function means you also have high threshold frequency. Uh, yeah, you have high threshold frequency. So uh, the higher the binding energy, the higher minimum frequency or uh, minimum threshold frequency required. Uh, so even less type of light can eject electron. Uh, not yeah, if you have low low work function means you have low threshold frequency. You have more type of light can eject electron. If you have high work function, a uh, high minimum required threshold frequency means you are, you have a less type of light than can eject electron. Yeah, that's that's it. That's about the this graph. Yeah, about this graph. Uh, okay. So it just didn't uh yeah extend uh and uh, get lah. Yeah. Uh, if uh, if k max, if k, uh, if kinetic energy graph is kinetic energy graph is almost the same, uh, or this is, this one is topic potential graph. You co also can have the another graph with uh, k max. Uh, if k max graph versus f, uh, then the the graph will be like that also. Uh, the graph will be like that. Uh, so this is f not one. This is f not two. This is f not three. And then the y intercept here is uh, w not only lah, w not one, negative w not two, and this negative w not three. Ah, all right. Ah, uh, yeah, w not w not only lah. Uh, if the v s graph, if v s graph, you the w not divide by e. If v s graph, it is w not divided by e. But if k max graph is just w not, it is just w not. Ah, uh, also the same. Uh, the this the last one has a highest work function and highest threshold frequency. Okay, so different metal has different threshold frequency, wave work function, threshold frequency, and threshold wavelength. That's it for uh, this uh, chapter. Okay, let's continue for the videos problem solving. Okay, bye.